Welcome to News Desk on SiliconANGLE TV for Monday, October 29th, 2012. I'm Kristen Folletti. Last week was SiliconANGLE's Big Data Week with intense coverage coming out of IBM's Information On Demand Conference as well as O'Reilly and Cloudera's Strata Conference out of New York City. Joining us now with his breaking analysis on these stories is SiliconANGLE founding editor Mark Risen Hopkins. Welcome, Mark. Howdy. Big Data Week is over and SiliconANGLE was all over the map. So tell us about what were some of the highlights from the week. So uh, as you know, we started out in uh, Las Vegas for the IOD conference uh, and then we headed into New York City for the last half of the week and covered uh, the new hybrid uh, O'Reilly Hadoop, uh, sorry, O'Reilly slash Cloudera Hadoop World Strata Conference. They've, they've merged the the two together and now uh, from now on it'll be referred to as Strata Hadoop World out in New York City. And uh, it's uh, it was it was a great show. Uh, I was at Strata. Of course, the rest of the team was uh, over there in uh, Las Vegas uh, and some of them made the crossover for the two uh, for the two shows. But uh, the big themes, the big highlights seem to be uh, uh, kind of a real time uh, analytics was was a major deal. Uh, there was a, a big sense of, a, of the maturation of the market. Uh, there's a lot of evangelization going on, uh, as there is at just about any O'Reilly event. But even at the IOD, there was a lot of evangelization. And uh, I think the, the biggest thing, the biggest uh, highlight of the week is, is the fact that we've got, uh, there's, there's a greater industry recognition of big data as a thing, as opposed to some sort of, uh, you know, just some sort of passing fad. SiliconANGLE is always on the lookout for what you call tech athletes. Who are the returning stars this year and who are stars to look out for? So yeah, it's it, tech athletes. I can't remember who came up with that term uh, in, in the cube, uh, but I think it was actually at one of our big data events. But uh, John likes to use it quite a bit. And uh, so, you know, um, we call ourselves ESPN of tech. Tech athletes makes kind of sense in that, that context. Uh, there's Abi Mehta uh, from Tristata. He's a uh, uh, one of the one of the people that we discovered at uh, uh, Hadoop World, uh, the second Hadoop World in New York City uh, several years ago, uh, and uh, he returned. Of course, uh, he, originally he was with uh, AOL, now with his own startup Trisada. Um, over in Las Vegas, Pauline Nist was another returning tech athlete. Uh, she's she's a GM of, of uh, ESS in the, over at Intel. Jeff Hammerbacher, the chief data scientist for Cloudera, was there. Doug Cutting. Uh, one of the founders from Cloudera, Alistair Kroll and Ed Dumble. Uh, these are two really intelligent fellows that always have something interesting to say. They were there at Strata. They're from the Strata uh, conference as well as uh, working on their own projects. Um, they, they were speaking a lot about uh, uh, some data acquisition. Basically, they had these little, uh, little data acquisition units all over their sensors that were uh, collecting data, and they, they spent a lot of time talking about that and how the data could be used. Um, of course, we also had some some new folks as well that showed that showed up. Uh, Oren Falkowitz, who is the CEO and co-founder of a company called Squirrel. Uh, uh, there was a, a gal named Camille Fournier from Rent the Runway. Uh, that was kind of an interesting company that uh, she spent a little time uh, talking about how data is central to their um, their uh, operation there at Rent the Runway. Uh, and then Jason Silva, who uh, is well known. Uh, Kind of television personality and kind of like underground tech scene uh, did some work for current tv as well uh spoke about data and uh, data journalism there at uh, iod you threw out a few company names what were some of the more interesting companies that you saw so two of them two of the most interesting ones i saw personally uh were over there at strata uh rent the runway and squirrel uh so rent the runway is actually not what's traditionally thought of as data company but it's a great case study for uh, what the new data company will be, and it's it's every company is a data company, and, and that's that's the general idea. Uh, Rent, Rent the Runway's business model is built around the fact that uh, if you if you if you like fashion, uh, but you you know also like social media, you may you know buy a dress or buy an outfit and uh, wear it out to a party. Pictures taken of you at this party, and they're uploaded to Facebook. Uh, they're, uh, you know, then everyone's seen you in that dress. You can't wear it again. So you're spending a lot of money on on dresses or outfits that you can't wear twice, right? So the Rent the Runway's idea is that uh, you can rent stuff like really, really high end for about the same price as what you would buy it for or less, uh, buy, buy a, a, 
regular dress for it or less and uh, you know wear it once and then return it. It's kind of like a Netflix for dresses and, and outfits is what they described it as. But there's a lot of data uh, to that company, just like Netflix, right? You get the recommendation engines at Netflix, same sort of uh, thing uh, with, uh, with this company, but they've also got uh, added elements uh, that you wouldn't necessarily have in, in like digital entertainment, uh, like you know preferences for for dresses or preferences for outfits. Like, is it a short dress? Is it a party dress? Is it a formal gown? You know, these are personal preferences that are not necessarily consistently reflected in designers, uh, uh, like they might be. And there's not a lot of metadata around a dress or an outfit. So there's a whole interesting data issue they're trying to solve there, and they're actually successful at it seems like uh, and uh, we're talking about that on the show and squirrel was interesting to me uh, as, a, as a new company uh, because there uh, it was a it's another analytics company like I said real-time analytics made a strong showing as a theme at the, at the event uh, these guys do real-time analytics with security in mind there are a lot of uh, NX, ex NSA uh, folks that went out and started a big data startup so <laughs> a very very unique approach to to the big data issue and of course, if you want to talk about you know companies we all know and love in the big data space, Cloudera, Hortonworks, and Hadapt, uh, Data Stacks, uh, these were all made very strong showings. Cloudera, especially since this is a former Cloudera run show, so really, really interesting stuff. A lot of a uh, lot of uh, new entrants uh, that uh, have interesting stories, and interesting entry points into the world of big data. As you mentioned, you spent your time in NYC with the Strata Hadoop World Conference. What were some of the major themes that you saw? So I've touched on a lot of them already. Uh, so there was, uh, like I said, real time. Uh, there's a strong emphasis on real time analytics uh, with big data, which sounds simple, uh, but really isn't because of the unique way that uh, a lot of these uh, NoSQL style databases approach uh, data organization, they're very schema light, and therefore, you know, there's there's things that have to happen that um, aren't traditional database problems. And uh, what we're learning is there's a lot of, uh, uh, or what we're learning uh, for for those of us documenting this is that there's a, there's a lot of different uh, courses for courses, a lot of different uh, uh, database types for different types of uh, time frames of when you need the analysis and that sort of thing. So that's that's one of the things that sort of showed up uh, during the show. There's also uh, been uh, a lot of conflation of the term analytics with big data. A lot of people saying, you know, I've got a big data solution, when really it's just the same analytics solution that they had uh, prior to the term big data becoming a thing. Uh, they're just calling it big data now because it's the easiest way to market it. So, you know, some of these guys actually would kind of fall into the silicon angle definition of big data and some people wouldn't. And so that's you, you, we're, I saw a lot of that uh, during this show. Uh, and I've also seen uh, on the part of the organizers, uh, O'Reilly really seemed uh, intent on widening the tent. It's kind of a political term, you know, where uh, Republicans say they're a big tent party, allow a wide range of, of uh, ideas within the party. I think there's, on some of the evangelists within the world of big data, you've seen a widening of the definition of big data to allow more people, more companies, more ideas to be kind of shoehorned into the idea of big data, um, which has led to the last theme that I saw at NYC, which is the start of a real commercialization at uh, of the big data world. You're seeing a lot more uh, venture capital uh, being thrown at this world. You're seeing a lot more big players like IBM, who did rebrand their analytics conference or software conference into a big data event. You're seeing a lot more capital come into the world under the umbrella of big data. Big data has been incredibly hyped, not just this year, but over the last several years. How real is it, though? Do you see this conference as affirmation that big data is not just an idea or a concept, but something that's here to stay and is going to continue to be here? So, yeah, I think, uh, I, well, I mean, I, honestly, I, can't, I would be lying if I said that I thought big data was just hype. Uh, I've got it, but I, I have a vested interest in that. I, I run a blog and, and media network that uh, is built on the themes of big data, so I might be a little bit biased. Uh, that said, though, I, I really think what we're seeing here is is, is a trend that has legs. Uh, big data um, is obviously something being latched onto by a company like IBM, which says volumes about uh, you know what they think the longevity of the idea. If they're going to rebrand 
the fastest growing aspect of their business as a big data arm of the company as opposed to just you know boring old analytics then uh, that says something about the longevity of this market uh, but I also uh, you know would also point out like I said the, the venture capital there was I got invited I'm, I'm an editor for uh, a, you know a news network I don't get invited to a lot of venture capital uh, parties uh, it's just you know I get invited to briefings I get invited to uh, you know uh, product launch parties. I get. I don't get invited to venture capital things as a general rule, especially being based out of Dallas. But every and in, 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 even in the New York events that I go to, uh, but every night that I was in town, I got invited to uh, at least two different uh, private equity or venture capital parties. Which that's a major shift. <laughs> there were those venture capital and private equity parties weren't even there last year, uh, and certainly not the year before at Strata, uh, the Duke World. So. When you've got that amount of cap, that large uh, amount of capital interested in being influxed into the big data world, um, I think you have to say that there is at least a midterm uh, lifespan available for this market because otherwise, you know, uh, the, where's the money going? So there's going to be some runway for the big data world uh, for, the, for the next few years. And then there was this this other idea, the, the last kind of data point I would, I would throw out there for this being. Uh, not hype, but actual actual businesses. We we kind of threw out this idea of um, Kristen Nicole actually wrote the post, but uh, we threw out this idea on the air and around the show that Big Data Week is the new South by Southwest. Uh, it's the new hip thing. It's the new thing where where all the startup action is happening, and and it just it just like went viral as just an idea, not just as a post, but as an idea. It was one of the most talked about uh, ideas and posts and and themes from the show. By any metric, by any big data metric, um, you know, looking at social media, looking at uh, uh, posts from other organizations, this idea that this could be the new South by Southwest uh, has a lot of legs. And as we know, South by Southwest been around for for uh, decades at this point, and uh, continues to be a hub for geeky activity and uh, one of the places the coveted slots to to launch a startup. So uh, I think that uh, you know. These these things kind of point to a fact that this is here to stay. We're only going to get more and more data uh, in the world of technology, not less. And so these are the people, these are the early adopters that are going to be creating the solutions to to understand that mess of data and, and do what we do here, bring the signal from the noise. Well, Mark, thanks so much for the roundup, and we'll talk with you again soon. Absolutely. And remember, for a superior event coverage and the latest breaking analysis, join us here at News Desk on SiliconANGLE TV.